All right, today we are doing a oil change on a Isuzu NRR 2016. Um, it's gonna be fairly easy. So we're gonna go ahead and access everything from the driver's side because the filter's on that side. So here's a drain plug. That is a 17 millimeter. I already loosened it up for you. Get your your catch pan. Go ahead and let this sucker drop. And I'll get back to the video once it's emptying out. After we're done um, tightening our drain plug, we're gonna go ahead and take off the oil filter. Now, if this guy's on there pretty tight, you can try this method and just jab a, um, kind of like a pick at it or a screwdriver. I'll let it drain out a little bit. Now if you have channel locks, you can actually grab the um, the filter and, and loosen it up, but I don't have any of that are this big. But this method works too. Now I want you to inspect this filter. Make sure there's no metal debris in it. Um, it's not full of anything because if it is then we're gonna have to check some other stuff out and look into further details why there's metal debris and then replace that piece or clean it out with some air so before we put on our new filter we're gonna go ahead and lube up the o-ring so it comes off nice and easy And then we'll just screw it right back on. And I just, I like to just let it spin freely until it stops. And then spin about, it's like 180, kind of like five, five foot pounds after it stops spinning. Then we'll go ahead and clean up our area. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the oil. So here on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and lift up this handle that's right here. So it's, that's connected to this piece. So we'll lift up this handle while pulling this guy back. Now we, re we unlock the passenger side. And then right here, we're gonna go ahead and release this handle. And then we're gonna lift up, make sure nothing's in front of the car so you don't hit it. So I'm, right now I'm standing on the passenger side and then here's the oil filler cap. So we'll go ahead and loosen that up. And then the dipstick's on the, on the driver's side right there where the intake tube is, where the throttle body is. So if you wanna check it, we'll go ahead and check right there. And I know for the oil, you guys see a STP, but it's what customer preferred. They wanted to be cheap about it. So I think it's about 12 to 15 quarts. So we're gonna go ahead and add two gallons and then double check the oil and see where it's at. So right now, I'm at three um, gallon containers, so we're at three gallons. So that's good right there. So three gallons is good enough for this vehicle. But again, don't go by me. You need to go by your own checking and you need to physically check it out yourself. Then we're going to go ahead and just take off our funnel, put on our oil cap. Alright, so now at this point, 
we need to unlock this guy right here. So you're just gonna, well you're actually supposed to put the safety pin, but really don't worry about that because we're not doing any engine work, but you should recommend it. So you're gonna release this tab so it unlocks from there. Now we're gonna go ahead and close the cap. So once it locks from this side, then basically you're just gonna pull this handle down and just like that. All right, so right now I have the car running. Um, right now I'm just cycling through the button. So we're pressing this one right here. We're gonna press and hold, and now we're good. So we're gonna press and hold it again. So now we're good. All right. So and then that's how you reset the oil maintenance light. That's how you do the oil change. So if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. And then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.